Hi everyone, my name is Jake Joseph. I hope you had a great Mother's Day yesterday. Hope you had a great Mother's Day weekend. Hope you're all well. Stay safe. I hope you're all better after you here. And I got and it's story time again today. And I got a present for you. And this story we're gonna read. This one's for you, Caroline's Michael. And Millie and Sammy. This one's for you. For you. This story is called. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carr. Now, as I was a child, I loved reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar and I watched the video at school and then I was watching on DVD at home and I got rid of it. So, here we go. Everyone reads the story. Caroline's Michael and all over Queensland, Victoria. Here's the story. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Here's the story. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on the leaf. See this little egg on that leaf? One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. See this? This is a very hungry, is a tiny caterpillar. And now he was very hungry. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. And now, he's very hungry to eat more. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. Poor caterpillar. He's so very, very stomach ache and he's very hungry. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf and after that he felt much better. She's now feeling a bit better. He ate one nice green leaf. Now he wasn't hungry anymore and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around itself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way up and... He was a beautiful butterfly. She's a beautiful butterfly. And that's the end of the story of the Very Hungry Caterpillar. I hope you enjoyed it, this story today. I hope you enjoyed it, had it. I hope you enjoyed the story today. I'll see you next time. God bless from Mike and Kali fans. Signing off. See you next time.